Hi guys, welcome back to another snapshot video. It's gonna be a brief one, although there are actually a lot of important changes, like for example, the game has a new light engine. That will significantly improve the performance of the game in certain aspects. If you, for example, know the mod Starlight, the new engine is supposed to be on a similar performance level. Apart from a better performance overall, the new light engine should also fix some issues with bigger contraptions, where the light engine wasn't working correctly, sometimes it was lagging behind, chunks weren't loaded properly, and sometimes this could even lead to game crashes. So those issues should be fixed, but also some people were abusing the old light engine and for example made super fast mob farms, where mobs were able to spawn inside of nether portals because the block light level was zero. This might be fixed, or it just requires a lot more effort. So I wouldn't be surprised if at some point somebody comes up with a way to do it again, but I'm almost certain it would require a lot more effort. So what else is new in the snapshot? It wasn't mentioned in the patch notes, I'm not sure if it's specific to this snapshot, but for some reason all the rabbits next to blocks are jumping and can't make it up there. I'm sure it's just a bug in the snapshot. But the rabbit is actually perfect to show new behavior of the skulk sensors. So the normal Skulk sensor now gives out a redstone signal for 30 ticks and the calibrated Skulk sensor for 10 ticks. Previously it was 40 and 20. What didn't change was the cooldown time. So the Skulk sensor, the normal one, would now give out a signal for 30 ticks and then additional 10 ticks he's in a cooldown phase and the calibrated Skulk sensor now gives out a signal for uh, 10 ticks and then a Another 10 ticks is in a cooldown phase where he can't be activated again. I guess an even better way to show this would actually be just a skulk sensor. We drop an item on top. And then maybe a lamp below. Would also make a nice effect. So what happens now is we trigger the skulk sensor every 20 ticks, then it's on for 10 ticks, and then it has a cooldown of another 10 ticks before it turns on again. And here you can also see it with the normal Skulk sensor on for 30 ticks, off for 10. To me it happens actually quite frequently that I need a 10 tick pulse when working with pistons. So this is actually quite interesting. For example for this double piston extender here, this is just the right timing. There are also 7 new advancements in the game. Let's speedrun them real quick. So you need to brush some suspicious sand and get a shared. That's the first one, then you need to obtain a sniffer egg, you need to feed a baby sniffer, sniffer some seeds, then you need to plant seeds, then you need to craft a pot out of those shards, then you need to um, use one of those templates, the smithing table on some armor, there we go, and then you need to use eight specific ones. So Ward, Rip, Spire, Snout, Silence, Vex, Tide, and Wayfinder. You need to use all of them at least once. So we can do that real quick. And the last one. There's also a new ambient sound and a music disc by Aaron Cherov in a game. So the music disc is called Relic by Aaron Cherov. You can find it if you brush some suspicious sand near some trail ruins with a bit of luck. This is actually quite interesting because this is actually the 16th music disc that was added to the game. So you might know that you can tell the music discs inside of the jukebox apart by using a comparator with it because it would give out a you know, unique uh, signal strength. Until now, because there's only 15 or technically 16 signal strength if you count Redstone Dust that is off. So yeah, how do we tell this apart now? What did Mojang do? They actually just gave the new music disc the signal strength 14 that other side by Lena Rain already has. So we got two music discs with the same signal strength now, which of course is um, yeah, a bit frustrating. In case you have an automatic jukebox or some sort of a music system, you can't tell those two apart anymore just by using redstone. A lace could still do it, but yeah, just with redstone alone, uh, we couldn't do this. Now I know for a fact that Mojang is aware of this issue, and at some point the redstone dust will get a rework that will also address some of the other issues that it has right now. Like for example the locationality issue, that is actually super annoying. Or for example it's not super lag optimized yet, can be even better, and when 
that will be done. I'm pretty sure yeah, we will also be able to tell the music discs apart again with Redstone, but we'll need to wait for this. Um, I've been waiting for this for a couple of years. And it's also no surprise that a 16th music disc will be added at some point, but Mojang just has other priorities. Some people also have been speculating that the new music disc would get a signal strength higher than 15, which we could actually already tell apart with the comparators that we have in a game for several years. Because those actually work with signal strength higher than 15 internally. Um, we can already use this in case we have access to non-stackable items that we can stack. Like for example, a lot of Schalke boxes, so as you can see here. This would give out a signal strength of a couple hundred, and we can reduce it by 15, but it's still here at the end, we still got 15. So this is the highest you can get just with the redstone dust. But if we take out a couple of those Schalke boxes, I guess at some point... You can see it only goes this far. To be honest, I'm actually really glad that Mojang didn't go with the signal strength 16 approach, which temporarily would have worked for some people, but to be honest, it's not that great of a feature because it's really unintuitive and yeah, it doesn't really work in an intended way, I'd say. So I'm kind of hoping that we just get some yeah more functionality to Redstone Dust at some point um, to tell this apart. So I'm kind of looking forward to some updated Redstone Dust, to be honest. All right, so that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.